I am from a small town in Iowa called Applington, Iowa. Uh, population of about a thousand is where I grew up. Um, graduated with 55 people in my graduating class. And we did all the stuff back then that city folk don't do. Uh, you play basketball on a Friday, Saturday night because there's nothing else to do. You go fishing, you go hunting, and uh, you get together, you play sandlot football, baseball, you name it. But So I grew up in a small community. All right. So what was... That was great, man. All my friends were around, except for the country kids. They'd have to get rides in from mom or dad. You'd stay overnight at such and such friend's house. They'd stay at yours. Um, you know, we had a what we call a drugstore back then, which might be interpreted differently today. <laughs> but a drugstore back then is where you got all your candy, where you got your chocolate malts, all your ice cream. So after baseball practice, we'd all get on our banana seat bicycles and we'd go down the hill and. That's where we would hang out as a kid. What did you want to do for a career when you were young? Mm, that, I really didn't have anything in mind. I was, uh, I was enjoying sports too much. I was enjoying music. Uh, I guess when it got right down to it back when I was in school, you were getting drafted into the service. And um, I really didn't want to do that. So the first thing I was thinking about was uh, actually getting into mechanical drafting at a tech school. University of Northern Iowa in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Where did you start out at the company? Uh, my first job uh, was at another small school, even a smaller town than Applington, where the class averages were like 30 to 35 kids at max. I started at a school called Boone Valley of Renwick, and I taught business education classes, typing, we called it typing then, not keyboarding, where you actually use electronic, electric cal or, uh, typewriters. Um, and manual typewriters where you hit an arm to move the carriage over. I taught, like I said, accounting, uh, business law, business math, and I coached football, um, track, and even a little bit of baseball. All right, so if you had to give me a few steps that it took you to get where you are today, Yeah, I, I think number one, the, the most important thing is <clears throat> when you're getting your education, wherever you go, you got to take it serious. You can't just, I mean, you got to have fun. You got to have your social time too. But you got to, you got to get serious about your school. school. Number two, you got to work hard. You got to have a work ethic. Um, you can't be lazy. Number three, you got to be dependable. Uh, you're not going to get a job, or if you do get a job, you're not going to keep it very long if you're not dependable. Uh, number four, you got to be motivated. You know, there's going to be days where you feel like, oh man, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. Well, I didn't want to scoop manure, but guess what? Dad says you're getting out there and you're doing it anyway. And you I love LJ. <laughs> LJ's the shit. So, what do you think about his class? I like it. Uh, give me two things you like about his class. Um, he helps you out if you need it, and he's always a happy guy. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah.